Hey crafters, uh, DM Scotty here. Uh, good to have you with me on the DM's Craft Short Tip. Today I'm going to do a uh, show you this tile I'm working on. Uh, I'm doing this tower and uh, it's a uh, crumbling tower and it's, it's it looks fairly dangerous and that kind of thing. I've got some I've actually got some walls blown out of the tower. But really what I want to concentrate on in this video is I want to show you I want to have like a broken up floor. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did that and let's go to the table. For our craft today, I've got a piece of cardstock, and I've painted it with the spray texture paint. And uh, I'm going to just start cutting it out in random shapes. So I'll just start. Here I have the floor out of a tower, and you can see I've got some stairs coming up, and then these stairs go up to the next level. So um, what I want to do is kind of make a crumbly type floor on this. Um, I don't want it to be too obvious that the players will know whether it could trigger or not. So I figure if I put these pieces on the tile and incorporate them into the tile, they won't be quite sure if it's just a decorative element or it's actually something that's dangerous, which it actually is. So um, that's my goal with this. Now I've got my glue gun. Uh, my small glue gun, and I'm just going to start applying these to uh, near the center of the floor because I'm going to I might have some stuff um, at the edges of the uh, tower, so um, I'll start applying um, this to the center of the floor. Hey, you can see I have just a nice random pattern on the floor. So I got the little wisp stop here and then I'll, uh, I'll do some painting. For the painting, I'm going to use a chisel brush and uh, I'm going to use my dolphin gray. And I'm just going to try to pick out the edges of those to kind of give them. A little more definition. All right, so that's looking nice. All right, now we'll move on to the next painting step. Now this part will require some time and patience, but it'll be worth it in the end. And um, it'll look great. So I'm gonna use a uh, thin brush and wet it to make it even thinner. Um, and I'm gonna use a sequin black to do this. I actually like the sequin black a little bit better than the regular, um, just acrylic black. It seemed to show up a little bit better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of uh, do some cracks between the pieces. You could even follow the edge of the pieces. And it's a fine line between getting the paint wet enough to work with and the paint um, too wet that it doesn't show up. So don't, don't fall into the trap of painting it, getting it too wet. It's, it's um, a little bit of a, it takes a little bit of patience to get it just right. Okay, so you can even do cracks on those pieces themselves. So see what I'm doing here? I'm painting, cracking around the and even on the pieces themselves. So. so this will give a really nice effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it up and then I'll, I'll give you a look at it and you'll, you can see what, uh, you can judge for yourself whether this, uh, this is worth the effort. So here, this shows you how nice this technique really looks. Uh, look how great that 
that floor looks. It looks pretty uh, dangerous uh, and interesting. So here's a, I'll put a little figure on here and you can see kind of the scale we're looking at. So this is uh, pretty nice. So then now the players have to decide if this is actually a dangerous area or it's just um, some, uh, some cracking in the floor. So, all right, there we go. And uh, that's a technique to uh, make some cracked floors. And I'll see you next time on The Craft. Hey, you. Yeah, you, back here. Huh? I knew it was short, but what do you expect? It was a short tip. Watch longer episodes if you want. Jeez, and quit bugging me. Hey, and make sure you join the forum, too. I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, and have a magical craft-tastic day.